Update to a story you first saw here on Sunday. We're learning more about the legal battle DC families are fighting to stay in their homes. Housing inspectors said conditions are so horrible inside the Ridgecrest condominium in Southeast Washington. They describe them as a hazard to life and safety. Here's Delia Gonzalez. This cell phone video shows a contractor called in to make repairs to the building's boiler one day after residents were forced out of Ridgecrest condominium, told to pack up and vacate the property because of the dangerous conditions inside. Marcus Little removing the DCIR sticker. Residents from also the recording this on Saturday. Marcus Little, the homeowners association president, seemingly violating district building code by tearing down a stop work order. Residents allege Mr. Little left the building in such disrepair by refusing to use their association fees to fix the growing problems. There was no answer when we tried Mr. Little at his apartment nearby and no answer on the phone. His lawyer has not returned our messages either. This is crazy. We just want to keep our home. According to these online records, the Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs cited Mr. Little with 31 housing code violations at three different properties. The most egregious at the Ridgecrest condos on E Street Southeast, including a rat infestation, black mold, a bad boiler, and some units with no heat, no hot water, and electrical safety violations. These are electrical burns, thumb, first finger, ring finger. I went to go plug my cell phone in the wall and it literally burnt me. I was stuck to it. You could smell my flesh burning and everything. It blew me back onto the floor. A group of homeowners are suing Marcus Little now, alleging he, quote, breached his fiduciary duty by refusing to include more members on the Homeowners Association board, failing to disclose financial records, and buying up dozens of foreclosed units without putting them on the market. Their complaint filed in Superior Court says Little has been association president since 2016 and has been the one and only member of the board since 2019. They've been trying to get the city to force him to do what he's supposed to be doing. The renters have since left. They're staying in a hotel, but the homeowners say they don't have anywhere to go. They are fighting to stay in their homes. In Southeast, Celia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.